Oh my god, remember when Mr. Litwack had that moped accident and that nursing student ran up to him and snapped his arm back into place? Yeah, what about it? They got engaged last week. <gasps> oh my gosh. Delightful, right? So speaking of romance, Jason and I couldn't help noticing you gawking at Ian at study hall. <laughs> Just because I'm leaving you to think about what I said doesn't mean you have to think too hard about it. Oh, about Ian? I saw you looking at him earlier, but you're really lucky I didn't say anything. Not believe you do this to me. Like I'm the last person you'd screw over. Just calm down. No, no, I'm not gonna calm down. I cannot believe you told Ian that we were drunk. As far as he knows, we were drunk and talking about crushes, and your name just sort of slipped out as a joke. A joke? Do you realize I've known him since we've been in diapers? He, I'm the last girl he'd want to date. It's good enough I'm even seen with him in public. <sighs> Two things. One, Jason and I made sure he had too much to drink and he won't remember a thing, so you're welcome. And um, two, I would love to argue with you some more, but I have to get to the studio, so bye. Please, you borrow my stuff. Why can't I borrow yours? Nope. Not until you admit how jealous you are that Ian asked Emma out to prom instead of you. It's not prom, it's homecoming, where there are after parties and after after parties people hook up. I will pay both our rent together and clean your room. Whatever you say. It's just not fair. I know. I shouldn't have to be with a guy who's as stupid as Fred, or who's just as wrong for me as Mark. Oh my god. What? Emma just broke up with Ian. No. Oh my god. 